I'm going for a job right now at McDonald's. I've had, I really wanted to do this all my life, and now I'm going to do it because she didn't do it. Thank you very much. I'll see you at McDonald's. We're going to break in now because the former president, Donald Trump, has made his way here in Pennsylvania to an, a fryer at McDonald's. Mr. Trump, what's your favorite thing to order at McDonald's? I like it all. I like, it. <laughs> I like every ounce of it, everything. But I do like the French fries where I'll be working. I listened to uh, Kamala. She said it was so hot. It was so hot. It was such a tough job. But don't you have a man that's been doing it for many years at the French fries, right? I want to learn everything. We're going to see. I'm going to learn how to do it right now. Thank yes. you. Guys, I just love this story. This is by far one of the most iconic things to happen on the entire campaign trail, which is that today President Trump took a visit to a McDonald's in Pennsylvania to work there. And you may be asking, why would he do a thing like that? Well, to understand this, we have to go back to the beginning of Kamala Harris's candidacy. When you may remember, she used to go around saying, I worked a job at McDonald's, essentially trying to seem relatable to normal people. Hey, look, I worked uh, a cashier or, you know, fast food job back in high school, except Trump started to call her out on this. He, he, he was very obsessed with it, too. It was kind of comical. He would say, no, actually, she did not. She totally made this up. She never worked that job. And, uh, you know, in the beginning, I was honestly kind of neutral on it because I was like, yeah, she could be making it up. But it is also totally plausible that, hey, you know, a lot of people have worked at McDonald's in their life. That's not exactly a crazy story. But what really told the story was the fact that once Trump started to call her out on this, she totally buried it. Right. Notice that she has not talked since about how she worked at McDonald's, much less has she responded to it by going out and providing the documentation. Hey, look, Trump is lying. My opponent is just making everything up. You would think if Kamala really would do did do this job. She could actually score a lot of political points by debunking Trump and his mythology of making things up here, but she didn't. It's been total radio silence, which to me suggests that is someone who got caught in the dead middle of a lie. OK, like because when you refuse to address it, when your opponent is like running around claiming this constantly and you refuse to uh, push back, that seems to suggest, yeah, it is probably honestly made up that Kamala never worked at McDonald's. I mean, who knows the truth? We can never know for sure, but it does seem pretty plausible. So with all of that in mind, Trump recently said that he was going to go and uh, work the fryer machine at McDonald's to prove that Kamala Harris never did it or something, which initially even then seemed like a joke, except today Trump actually went and did it and it is so hilarious check it out i'm going for a job right now at mcdonald's i've had i really wanted to do this all my life and now i'm gonna do it because she didn't do it thank you very much i'll see you at mcdonald's <laughs> thank you very much i'll see you at mcdonald's Folks, if you're enjoying the content, please do us a big favor. Hit that like button down below and subscribe to the channel if you are new. And why should you subscribe? Because you hitting that red button goes a long way in ensuring we can keep bringing you these videos. It is the number one way to support our work on this election year, and it is totally free. All you got to do, go down below, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications while you're at it. It is greatly appreciated in advance. So, yeah, there it is. President Trump today taking a visit to work at McDonald's. We will show you some of those highlights. But first, I want to point this out. Check out President Trump's crowd. OK, this is the crowd that gathered outside the McDonald's just to support him and to see him work there. And uh, ask yourself if Kamala Harris could ever match this level of political enthusiasm. There it is right there. I mean, it, this is a crowded sidewalk going on for blocks. No buses required. No celebrity cameos from Megan the Stallion or Lizzo or something. All just like normal people out there this excited in the state of Pennsylvania for Trump. By the way, obviously, PA is going to be arguably one of the most vital swing states in this election. And you can see, you know, again, don't get complacent. We got to do everything we can. We got to chase every votes. But it does seem to me. PA is leaning in the Trump column right now, and uh, that is very good to see. So that's the support. There's Trump announcing it. Now take a look as he goes in 
and visits the McDonald's and takes off his blazer and is ready to work there. Yes, this really did happen. Check it out. Hello, everybody. Inda is here. She has, this is Inda. She has an apron for you. Oh, and good job on your oh, first day. I think I should take President off. Trump? Should I take off my jacket? I think so. The press wants to see this. <laughs> oh, you. He's a wealthy guy. He owns a lot of McDonald's. That's great. Thank you. Okay. Hey, let's go. <laughs> Trump, what's your favorite thing to order at McDonald's? I like it all. I like, <laughs> I like every ounce of it, everything. But I do like the French fries while I'll be working. I listened to uh, Kamala. She said it was so hot. It was so hot. It was such a tough job. I tell you, you have a man that's been doing it for many years at the French fries, right? We're going to learn everything. We're going to see. I'm going to learn how to do it right now. Thank you. Welcome here. You know, Kamala really screwed up by, of all the part-time jobs she could have faked or made up, by choosing McDonald's. Because if you know anything about Trump, you know he loves McDonald's. Like, this is his favorite fast food place. And so, <laughs> it's almost like, you know, Trump was personally offended of the stolen valor of McDonald's. You know, you say you worked at Burger King, you say you worked at, I don't know, KFC, whatever other place. It, it, I think Trump would have just been like, whatever. But he's standing there saying, don't you dare insult my beloved McDonald's. It's very hilarious. OK, now here is President Trump uh, learning how to make the fries again. I I'm st I'm still laughing. He actually really did do this. We got to hit that timer. Bring that one up. I'm going to take care of these. OK. I did these ones already, they're good. You just okay. gotta do that one right there. So grab that. Can you give them extra so? No, no. <laughs> yep. Oh, yep, good. Okay. Right there. And then we're gonna grab the fry scoop right here. Right. Put it into there and just give them okay. a twirl that way. Okay, yep. where's the little thing? They were the best fries. Okay, some said they were the greatest they ever tasted. No, it's so true. Uh, <laughs> it's just hilarious. Tight. We got the salt on it. Never touches the human hand. Very good. Very nice good. and full. Thank you. Good. OK, so then after that, Trump started working at the drive through and giving out free food to everyone, which really makes me further question whether Kamala Harris actually ever worked this job, because the way I see it, like she does not have the human interaction skills to really last even at a drive through a customer service at McDonald's. Check it out. Well, that's a good looking group. Hello, everybody. This is not a normal situation, is it? Huh? Oh, well, you, what a good looking family. How did you produce those good looking kids? Give me, oh, they look like the wife. They look like the wife. How are you? Nice to see you. That's great. Thank you, man. Thank you very much. Thank you. And there'll be no charge. Trump is paying for it. Is that OK? This, oh, you're doing it, some extra stuff. Oh, okay, great. This is, this is all on Trump. Oh, all on Trump. I'm allowed to do that, right? Yeah. Huh? Let's check and make sure it's okay. everything you said it would it's be. It better be. It's going to be the best you ever. I made it myself. You're the man. Make America That's great. That's it. Order. Thank you, man. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Have a good time. Have a good time. That's, that's great, isn't it? Of all the political losses you could take on a campaign trail if you're Kamala Harris, isn't it just so funny? Like, lib liberals owned by a fry machine and a McDonald's drive through How will the liberals ever recover from this? <laughs> okay, the nice people we're meeting. Huh? Okay. Uh, hey, look at this guy. I'm not going to mess with him. Huh? How you doing, sir? You're fantastic. Hello. Hey. How are you? You're a new baby. How are you? Great. How are you? So this is compliments of me, okay? All right. You go have a good time. Don't eat too much, right? Thank you, man. You take care. Thank you, honey. Have a good time. Thank you. 
So, you know, the official conclusion, I guess, from all of this is Donald Trump has officially worked more minutes, not even hours, minutes than Kamala Harris allegedly ever did work at McDonald's. This is fun. I could do this all day. I wouldn't mind this job. I like this job. I think I might come back and do it again. Thank you. What is working the prior? Tell you about the people of Pennsylvania. Mr. President, you actually have worked at McDonald's now. Versus, uh, now I have worked at McDonald's. I've now worked for 15 minutes more than Kamala. Are you going to put this on your resume? I've never worked here. Never Why would she lie about something like that? Kamala. Will it be put on your resume? I worked at McDonald's. Why would she lie about that? Because she's lying Kamala. That's what I'm it's that simple. She's lying Kamala, apparently, right? Like I said, is it possible she really did work that job? Yeah. I mean, again, it's not like crazy. Oh, you worked at McDonald's when you were younger. Yeah. A lot of people worked jobs like that. But. I mean, why did she totally go quiet once she got called out for lying about it? You know, why, why did why, she stop talking about how she did it? She, she always goes around saying she was a middle class family. Her neighbors cared about their lawns growing up. But the McDonald's one, like, you just have not heard that recently. And why doesn't she go debunk it? You know, I, I, it's like if, if it really were just a, an egregious lie by Trump, you would think, OK, they could just fact check it. You know, they, they're obsessed with doing that. I don't know. Again. Can't say for sure, but it really does seem to me like Kamala never worked that job. And so with that said, we can say President Trump has worked longer at McDonald's <laughs> than at Kamala Harris. OK, with that said, ladies and gentlemen, let me know your thoughts on all of this in the comment section down below. Do you think it was funny? Did you get a kick out of it? Be sure to leave a like on this video. Subscribe, subscribe to the channel if you are new. And until next time, God bless and peace.